so hello my dear friends welcome to my new video in this today's video i am going to continue my second part of the tense so in the last video as we seen that we have learned about the past tense and today i am going to teach you with the this again with this the live board so let's get started with this today's video but before starting like share and subscribe our channel little dear sir and tell in the comment box do you like this video we are welcoming your channel little dear sir so now welcome to this new video next tense in the last video we learned about the tense and specifically today we are going to learn about the past tense which tense past tense Let's recall what we learnt in the last video. In the last video, we learnt what is tense. First, we learnt what is tense. Second, where to use this tense. Third, what are the types of tense. Fourth, four sub tenses of each tense. I told you in the last video there are three tenses: present tense, past tense, and future tense. In the last video, we learnt about the present tense. Today we are going to learn about the past tense, and in the part three means in the last part we will learn about the future tense. Four, fifth, we learnt about the present tense. So what are we going to learn today? We learned this in last video, but what are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn about the past tense, structure of past tense, the four sub tenses of past tense. So let's get. started with this video so past tense what is the past tense as the word itself says that past means the work or the thing which is done in the past so as we learnt in the last video that present tense means the work or the thing which is done in the present and it is also being done it is called the present tense as the four sub tenses of the present tense means there are the four sub tenses of the present tense there are also four sub tenses of the past tense so what is past tense first we will uh, find out answer of this question what is past tense the past tense is the verb or form used to talk about things that happened in the past past tense The sub tenses of the past tense are simple past tense, past continuous tense, perfect past tense, past perfect continuous tense. Next, so I have given a flow chart to understand it better. You can also draw it in it your notebook. So past tense, there are the four sub tenses in the past tense as we seen. First, simple past tense. second continuous past tense third perfect past tense and fourth perfect continuous past tense so now slowly we will understand about the four sub tenses of past tense first the simple past tense the form of a verb used to describe an action that happened before the present time means this is the present time and the action is happened before the present time and it is no longer happening and it is not now also happening it was happening so let's take some examples the thief stole the diamond crown means the thief has stole it is not being stolen means now it is not being stolen it has been stolen this has been done it is not done in the present time it has done before the present time next sam cooked a tasty dinner yesterday sam cooked a tasty dinner it was yesterday and the present time it be, it sam cooked the dinner before the present time so this is in the simple past tense third virat scored a century in the last match means the virat has scored the century it is not being now scored it has scored so now we have learned about the simple past tense 
So guys, the next tense after the simple past tense is the past continuous tense. So past continuous tense. The past continuous tense describes action or the events in a time before now, which began in the past and were still going on when another event occurred. Let's take example. So, they were waiting for the bus when the accident happened. Means, we don't know when they started for waiting the bus. We don't know when they end, when they end to uh, wait for the bus. But they were waiting. As the word itself says that, continuous. The work was continue in the past. And the past. Caroline was seeking when the when she broke her leg. So, let's see the next, uh, uh, means the example. When we arrived, arrived, he was having a bath. Means, we don't know when, means, we don't know when they arrived. When, uh, in the past years, we becomes they. When they arrived, we don't know. When they gone, we don't know. But, when we, they were arrived, it was in the continue. It, the motion of that thing was continue. So, I hope you understand it. Means understood it. Next, perfect past tense. As the name itself says, that the perfect, means the work is done perfectly in the past. The past, the past perfect, means the Perfect past tense. The perfect past tense clearly states that one action took place before another action in the past. It can also be said that the past perfect tense represents a past action that took place in the past. So, as we know that what this uh, perfect uh, uh, past tense says that the action is done or the action is done completely in the past so so example she had taken sorry he had taken a selfie means he took the selfie we don't know when it started we don't know when it ended but means sorry we don't know when he was taking selfie but we know when he end to take selfie he took the selfie. The work is over. It had rained. Means the rain. It, we don't know when it came. We don't know when it was running. But it had rained. We know that. Next. The perfect continuous past tense. Actions or events. We started before a particular time in the past. And we are still in progress. Up to that time in the past. Example. He had been drinking milk out the cartoon when mom walked into the kitchen. Cartoon is the uh, small vehicle, you know, the with, uh, where the baby, uh, means the mother keeps uh, their baby. So, it is called cartoon. He had been drinking milk. Means it was in the past. He had been drinking the milk. The, wor the work was in the continue. continue. Out the milk out the cartoon when mom walk walk there are the two uh, words drinking which is used in the continuous tense and walked which is used in the perfect tense so name of this tense is perfect continuous perfect continuous past tense i had been working at the company for 5 years working which is the Continue, continuous past tense. When I got, got, got the promotion. Martha had been walking three miles a day. Walking. Before she broke. What she done? Broke her leg. Broke is the past, uh, perfect past tense. And walking is the continuous past tense. If we merge them, we get the perfect continuous past tense. 
So these were the four types of the past tense. Next, structure of the tense. How the uh, means the sentence become uh, of this tense, sub tenses. As we know, if we make anything, we need ingredients. Like this, what are the ingredients of these tenses? Simple past tense. Ingredients are means or the things which are used in this uh, to make the sentence are subject. The second form of the verb object. Example: She went to a doctor. Continuous past tense. In this, she is a subject. Went is V two form object to a doctor. Understood? Next, continuous past tense. Continuous past tense. What is this formula? Subject plus was or were. If they are singular, use was. If they are plural, use were. V plus ing means verb form plus ing and then object. Example: Rakesh was. The Rakesh was this much is a sentence or uh, we can say uh, two words in the past. Rakesh is. Rakesh is subject. Was as we know we have to use was or were. Writing, it is write. It is a verb plus ing becomes writing. And object is a letter. Understood? Next, perfect past tense. What is this formula? Subject plus had. Listen carefully. Had plus v three form and object. Understood? Let's take one example. Uh, by which you can understand. She is a subject. Had, as we know, we have to take had in the perfect past tense. Gone, gone is V three. Go, went, gone, going. Understood? And object is to a doctor. Next, perfect continuous past tense. What is formula? Subject plus had and been. Had. Been. It is the uh, the perfect tense has had. <coughs> Sorry, the perfect tense has had, but we have to add here been had been. Verb with ing form, which is in the continuous tense, since or from, since or from, and ne next object. Raju is subject. Had had been is uh, we have to take that. Eating mangoes, Raju had been eating mangoes. Eating we means verb plus ing. Mangoes is object, and since we have to use since or from, that is, and fifteen minutes is the time. So this was for our today's video. If you like today's video, you can like, share, and subscribe our channel, little dear sir, and tell in the comment box do you like this video. Welcome in your channel, little dear sir. Thank you.